Hey guys, welcome on back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking my video. And if you are new, welcome on in. My name is Simarala and I have a brand new mod review for you. This time we are going to be taking a look at the mod called Fairies vs. Witches. This mod is by Spinning Plum Bobs and this originally came out in 2021, but it just got a brand new update and will be public release on April 9th, okay? So I'm super excited to play with fairies. Fairies is something uh, an occult that I've always wanted in the game and I know many of you feel the same exact way. So, uh, yeah, and this mod has brand new features. I mean, five new aspirations. Uh, we got some power sources, and we can even get our fairies down to a sprite form. Really, really tiny. And fairy babies. <gasps> fairy babies. Yes. Okay, I can't wait to dig into this mod. Let's go. Let's get it. All right, guys, we are here in cast, and we're going to check out the new aspirations. It's in the category alignment, okay? So in the alignment category, we have four choices. Good fairy, good witch, um, wicked witch, and dark fairy, okay? So those are the four um, aspirations. But then if you go to knowledge and you come down, we also have master a chemist. And that is the fifth aspiration. So, listen, I have one good fairy and we also have a wicked witch. So, we're going to play both to see how, you know, they both turn out. All right, guys. So, everything that comes along with the mod when it comes to CC and when it comes to the wings um, has, like, this little butterfly insignia on the corner of the picture and you need wing skins in order for your fairies to kind of like be fairies so you would just click that on your sim like an everyday outfit and when they are channeling their magical skills which are fairies their wings will definitely show up all right guys before i forget i just want to let you know that you can go to spinning plum bobs um patreon and there is a ton a ton of information about this mod um about the update about the mod entirely there's even a walkthrough a gameplay walkthrough of the uh, original mod and there is also a mod trailer of the brand new update i of course will link those videos in the description below so you can go ahead and take a look at that but definitely go hit up spinning plum bobs patreon and get all the info you need let me introduce you guys to ella and raven ella's going to be my good fairy and raven's going to be my wicked witch and you do need the pack um magic realm in order for this mod to work all right so let me show you the basics of this mod you're going to need um, a couple of items in order for your sims to become fairy or witches so for the fairy you would just type in fairy and you would get the giving fairy statue you will put it on your lot and then to become a witch you will get the witchcraft altar and then you will also put that on your lot now my sim has her giving fairy thing she's going to place an item and most likely a flower put it at the end she's going to view it or admire it and then that will take her to Sevlin glade yes and we'll start the whole process <laughs> Now for the witch's process to begin, it starts a little bit differently. You're going to need that witchcraft altar. And then you put like little candles and crystals and whatnot to call the um, guardian, the spiritual guardian um, to get the process started. This is Sylvan Glade, your fairy or your sim who is about to be a fairy is talking to their guardian and they're going to explain to her that she needs to capture a sprite 
um, in order to, you know, become a fairy and do the whole magical thing. And then eventually you're going to get a book. Now, what are the other new updates that come along with this mod? Okay, so we got new spells, which we will go over. We also got new abilities and then the sprite form where we're going to shrink down the size of our sim to a little tiny sprite. <laughs> okay, so we have the fairy handbook and we are showing uh, some fairy forms. You start off as a pixie, then you become a nymph and then you got magical abilities all the abilities there for you to gain okay and then you have your spells there are 49 spells all together and you need to practice in order to gain more spells and if you play with the magic realm pack this is all going to be very familiar to you okay so let's look at the power sources and when you click thoroughly study it, it shows you a list of every power source available to you i'm going to have her study the emotions power source and i love that there are pop-up screens that explain things to you more thoroughly um it tells you about the emotions power source the other power sources that complement the emotions power source and here they are there are six complementary power sources and then you can always go back and look at the opposing sources and it's just one um opposing source but yeah that's how you look at the um power sources now let's take a look at the witches side of things so yeah her sister is um going into the darkness side of the power source so there's always you know the good and the bad you know i love the way the mod plays it out the good witch versus the bad witch or the good fairy versus the bad witch or the dark fairy versus the uh the good family <laughs> it's, you could just go about it so many ways and like i said it really does remind me of uh magic realm pack and you could just play along with all these uh, abilities power sources and spells but let's get to the fun part let's go and take a look at how we can shrink our sim down to a little itty bitty sprite form Okay, guys, I've done a lot of gameplay. I've done a lot of cheating. <laughs> I've been using UI cheats to, like, up my my abilities, my, my magic um, levels. I've been getting them up. And in order for you, if you're just playing it out, in order for you to become that spike form, you have to level up. Therefore, you have to practice magic. You have to train. You have to spar. You have to do all that good stuff. So, you know, I skipped all of that okay so once we get into our magic we level up we gain an ability point and then you use those ability points to get perks and here are your perks here is your menu for the perks there are six perks and we have gained one ability point and we're going to use that to get the sprite form of course how do we do that well we just click on the ground and we click uh fly in sprite form and there she goes oh my god look how tiny she is it's so freaking cute it's like a real freaking fairy i'm so amazed by this guys i'm so sorry <laughs> i'm so amazed okay so wait let's do it again let's do it again okay i'm gonna do it one more time oh Oh my gosh look how tiny she even blends in in the flowers it's so freaking cool to see that's the best this mod really has some really cool features my sim right now she is just taking power from the sources around her and one of the sources is the sun guys so the one thing i really wanted to do was to see if my fairy can have a baby fairy um i cheated of course <laughs> i used mcc and yes she had triplets she had one girl and two boys and there is a fairy baby yes guys we got a fairy baby can you believe it i was shocked 
Okay, so it basically says this. Bella has given birth to a fairy baby. Watch out for, or keep a vacuum handy so that you can um, up the uh, fairy dust sparkles. And watch out for sprouting wings. Okay, so this is Ariana. This is the fairy baby, the girl out of the triplets. And she is the only fairy, okay? The other two did not become fairies. Um, I see a little thing, a menu for fairy magic. It says she hasn't developed that yet. So I'm going to play through and see what happened. Yeah, guys, I cheated. I played through. Um, the only thing that I seen that she did have was the sparkles. Um, I even leveled up some of her... Um, I cheated and leveled up some of her milestones. I thought maybe with each milestone, maybe perhaps she'll get those wings. I didn't see it yet. I have to do some more gameplay, but lucky for you, I have the link in the description below so you can go to Spinning Plum Bob's um, Patreon. You can watch the walkthrough. You can watch the trailer and, you know, kind of see for yourself. Get the mod, play through it. Let me know. Let me know your experience um, because I'm so curious to see if they even get the wings i know as in magic of realm when the spellcasters turn teenagers that's when they develop the ability of magic so i don't know if it's the same thing with the fairy babies but yeah guys let me know in the comments below if you test it out cool okay also, I do want to point out there is one more new thing that was added to the update, uh, inherent traits. And the one thing that um, my sim inherit, the baby fairy inherit from her mom, was the good nature trait. So, I also want to let you guys know that. And also, we want to talk about the alignment. Right here is the alignment bar, and this is where your sim can go from good to evil depending on the actions that they do. There is a whole witch's covering that you can um, get together with your other sim friends. But you know, my sim, <laughs> she really wasn't that friendly. She's a wicked witch, she really wasn't that friendly. So I was unable to um, get a whole covering together. But sparring and doing some training with her sister is the way to go to develop um, new spells and more power. I had a lot of fun um, with this mod. Would it be a mod that I have in my game? No, it wouldn't be unless I went to play this type of gameplay. Um, I think if you're into fairies and you've been wanting fairies in the game, this is the mod to definitely download. But bear in mind right now, it is in early access and it is um, in an early stage of the new update okay um and like i said once again it will be available on april 9th for the public to download so yeah guys that's it that is my mod review i guess i would rank this or give this if i had to a 7 out of 10 a 7 out of 10 so um like i said i was unable to do a couple of things but that is just because i I honestly do not know and it takes a lot of time and a lot of gameplay to figure it all out also guys if you want to know what save file I am using for this particular world this is a save file by Erin with a Y and I will also have the link to their save file in the description below it is a fantasy save file it is almost completely done we've got willow creek we got um oasis springs and we got henfrey on bagley um it's just fantastic fantastic lot i will show you a couple of pictures of the lots that's also in that save file um yeah so thanks guys like i said for joining me today i had so much fun playing with this mod and um giving you guys this review if you like all this and you are new definitely hit that subscribe button and yeah listen guys these are my girls <laughs> they are fighting they are battling it out um i love them and you know what one day i will play uh, a little bit more with this mod and 
you know, until the Sims get it together, this is what we got. <laughs> so thanks guys for joining me today. I hope your weekend is well. And if you um, celebrate Easter, happy Easter, guys. All right, I'm Simabala and I'm signing out. Bye guys, see you next time.